Hey, what's going on today? We're going to be going over the 8.8 inch monitor from AliExpress, the Made in China store. Uh, you can find it right here, AliExpress.com. The link is in the description below. And I even have a coupon code. You can get $10 off an order of $100 or more. All right, so this is ideal as a standalone monitor for a small computer, Raspberry Pi specifically, it works well with. Um, you can also use it as a secondary monitor for any computer that has an HDMI output or as a primary monitor for something that is very portable something that would be ideal to throw in a backpack and set up anywhere you want like a coffee shop or whatever so as you can see it's 8.8 .8 inches it has a 1920 by 480 HD display and it has really good reviews so let's go ahead unbox it and check it out all right, we're going to do the unboxing of the WaveShare 8.8 .8 inch monitor. And I'm going to hook it up to a Raspberry Pi as a standalone monitor. And then I'm also going to hook it up as a dual monitor on a regular PC. So when you open the box, you see it comes with an HDMI cord. And it comes with a USB-C to USB-A type cable. And that's for the power. And then there's the unit itself. This one comes in gray, but it also is available with a black bezel if you prefer all right it looks pretty sleek on the side you have the HDMI input the power and the power button and on the back you have a kickstand which is adjustable and it feels pretty durable pretty sturdy you can adjust it to whatever level you want and then we'll just take off this little plastic covering from the front there it is so you're just gonna plug the HDMI in and you're gonna plug the USB-C power in and the other ends of these are gonna go right into the Raspberry Pi which is powered from the wall press the button on the side and there you go So nice and easy, HDMI and power right into the Raspberry Pi. As you can see, it comes with the it comes with the vertical display. So we're gonna try to change that right now. So in your system preferences, you're gonna go to screen editor and you're gonna go to the orientation, and right there you can see we can't turn the display. So to fix that we're gonna put in this command in terminal and that's gonna change the display for us so my initial thoughts on the display is that everything looks sharp and crisp everything looks clear so far so good alright so now you have the landscape display and you have a nice little portable monitor to go with your nice little portable Raspberry Pi bring it wherever you want and it even has the built-in speakers for you to listen to videos or whatever you want while you're on the go. As you can see, you have your own little desktop now, perfect size for a Raspberry Pi. You just plug it in and you're ready to go. And again, nice and simple, gets its power from the Raspberry Pi. This is truly plug and play. All you have to do, plug it in, do that quick little configuration in terminal, and you're good to go. All right, now let's move on to a PC. Check it out. All right, now we're gonna hook it up as a secondary monitor. And this is a Windows PC. As you can see, same thing happens. It goes into the vertical display. So right now we go into system preferences, into display, and then we select that monitor, scroll down, and then you're just going to change it to landscape and that's all there is to it now you got a second monitor that you can put anything you want down there now the size of it is ideal to monitor system performance or something similar to use it as a ticker for stocks or crypto or whatever you want um, you can drag whatever screen you want 
and just uh, use it as a secondary working monitor. So right here I have my nice hash um, GPU miner running so I can just put that down there and keep that monitored at all times or if you want to use it to watch a video you can throw a video on that monitor as well and you can work on your top monitor and just use this one down below it looks nice and neat it looks very clean and you can just have something playing down below overall I think this is a really great monitor I recommend it if you're looking for a small standalone monitor that would be useful for something like a Raspberry Pi I definitely recommend purchasing this or as a small secondary monitor this definitely does the trick Either way, I don't think you'll be disappointed, so make sure you check it out. Alright, well that about does it. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, I appreciate you hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos coming out soon. Like I said, the link is in the description below if you'd like to purchase this monitor. And I also got the link to the Made in China store for a lot of other great products that you can find. And there's a coupon code, use Tech160 to get $10 off your order of $100 or more. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching.